Okay, so I'm going to show you the demo of the final menu bar Mac OS app that we are going to build. So here at the top, we have this chat GPT icon. Let me click. Okay, we have the window for the UI. Here is the chat message list. And here we have the text and the button to send. Let me send a message. What is a recursion? Enter. Okay, there is your answer from ChatGPT. Recursion is a technique in computer programming where the function called self in order to solve. Nice. So that's it. The computer science theory for you. Okay, and then we have this button to clear the message list. Let me click. Okay, this will delete all the messages in the list. And we have this quit button. So whenever I quit, uh, press this, tap, click this, it will quit the app. Okay, so that's basically the final application that we are going to build. So uh, for this video, we, have, we are going to use most of the components that we have built in the previous video tutorial. Okay, so in the previous video tutorial, we have implemented the ChatGPT API and the AWS application as well. So we mostly will be using the same components. Okay. Now let's just begin by opening the previous project. Okay. So this is the completed project that we have built in the previous video. And yeah, the link for that video, I will be providing that in the description below, right? Okay. So now let's begin. We already have the iOS target in here. First thing that we are going to do is we're going to create a new target. Like OS application, select app, select this application template. I'm going to give the name of XA Chat GPT Mac. Okay, finish to create a target. Okay, and the first thing that I want to do is to basically create a new folder here at the root, new group, and I'm going to give it a name shared. The idea is to basically uh, put all the shared components, source code, that we are going to use both in the Mac OS and the iOS target. So the first one is this, ChatGPT IP, content view, dot loading view. I think most of all of this, except the app, put it into the shared, okay? And then select every files inside the shared. And make sure to check this XCA chat GPT Mac as the target membership. Okay. So this should also compile included in the XCA chat GPT Mac. Next, change the target, the scam to XCA chat GPT Mac. And we don't need this content view. We already have the content view there. And okay, this is also very important. Go here and then select this XCA chat GPT Mac. So to make an internet con outgoing internet connection for the Mac application, we need to enable this network outgoing connections client. Okay, otherwise we won't be able to make the HTTP request. It will fail. Okay, don't forget to do this. And next one is the assets. Okay, I'm going to put several assets in here. For one is the for the menu bar icon. Second one is the profile picture. Third one is the ChatGPT icon. I'm going just to give it a name of OpenAI. Okay, I'm going to just copy and paste the icons in here. You can do the same just by downloading the complete project and access this uh, XC Assets folder. Okay, OpenAI. Okay, looks good. And we have the assets, we have that. And now the first thing is, let's go to this view model, okay? First one, I want to implement that clear list mechanism on that button, right? To clear the list. So it's very simple, but I'm going to add a animation when it's deleted. So just set the message to empty. Okay, let me just put weak self as this is a reference type class. Okay, we have this. Second one is I want to move this state object, the ownership of this observable object to the app level. So 
I'm going to change this to observe object and cut this, give it a type of view model and inside this preview as well. Let me initialize the view model. API key, okay. Provide your API key here to make the preview work, okay. Now we are need to adjust for the iOS app as well in here. This is the iOS app, the cross that object, far, VM, and then I'm going to assign it with this, okay. This is for the iOS app, and don't forget in the content view, pass this. Now we just need to do the one in the Mac application. Okay, there you go. And this. Okay, I think that's the first task. We have completed that. So how do we create a menu bar only app in a mac os so basically in the cf ui4 apple has also provided this menu bar extra api that we can use so this will render the menu bar icon here and whenever the user tap it it will present the menu or the window okay so there are two ways a menu bar only mac os app or a men a mac os app with a win with window menu uh, application window and menu bar so in case you have a uh, your own window and menu bar window, they have they are separate. Then you can just declare it like this below this window group. But in our case, we want this app to be only a menu bar app based application. So we are going to replace this window group, okay? To just declare to menu bar extra, okay? First one is the title. Let me just give it a name of XCHGPT. And there's a several uh, way. For the second parameter system image system image if you want to use sf symbol to render the icon in the menu bar and the image if you want to use your own image for our use case we want to render the chat gpt icon using our own image from the assets okay so pass the icon and we have to add this modifier menu bar extra style okay so by default it's going to use this menu okay so this menu basically just like this right this is not what we want. We want it to be a window, a menu bar extra style that renders its content in a pop over like window. Okay. So let's try it first. Okay. There is the menu bar icon, chat GPT. Okay. So this is the content view, the view that we have built in the previous video. Nice, right? But let's fix this. So we're going to put a predefined fix width and height for this and also we're going to fix this button for the mac os compilation target okay so let's limit the width and height of the window okay so for the width i'm going to pass 480 and the, for the height 576 so you can pass your own number if you don't like this uh, size okay it's just my own preference and next one is let's go to the content view to fix that button that is broken on the mac os okay so this is the button let's just add a combi conditional compilation if the os is mac os when we build this for a mac os we want to add several modifier button side button style is borderless foreground color is going to be the accent color and just one extra thing when the user uh, type enter in the text field we want this closure to be executed okay this button action closure so to do that we can add this keyboard shortcut and then pass default action so whenever user press enter when they are typing in the text field it will trigger this uh, clo uh, closure that will send the message to open ai okay i think that's the only thing that we need to change let's try to build again okay looks good now the next thing is i want to add a header view in here containing the title as well as the delete message list button and a quit button but actually whenever i try to use a toolbar modifier in here i have tried it before for somehow the 
toolbar buttons, toolbar items, it's not getting rendered. So for now, we have to use another approach, which is just to use a V-stack. Okay. I don't know, maybe this is a bug or from Apple, or I don't know if this is also a bug from us. But I think it should work, right? But for now, let's just put it into a V-stack. And let's set the spacing to zero. And the first item in the V-stack is going to be an edge tag. Let's add the padding to all the edges of the edge tag. Okay, let's put the title XCA chat GPT. Set the font as title. And let's put a spacer to push the button to the trailing edges. The first button, let's use this action label. So this is the delete list button, clear list button. And here I'm going to just invoke view model dot clear list but so in here i want to add a guard only in case the view model is interacting with chat gpt value is false i'm going to proceed otherwise i won't do it because actually if this in, it is interacting with the chat gpt we are going to we are still mutating the last item in the array right so it will crash because of it cannot find the last item when we if we clear the list already okay and you also may be wondering why don't i just put it as a disable right but somehow when i put this inside the menu bar it doesn't really work so for now we're going to just add that guard okay now for the label i'm going to use an image system name i'm going to use this as a symbol trash and then set it multicolor for the symbol rendering mode for the font, I'm going to put a, a fixed size of 24. Okay, let's do the same for the quit button. Just copy this so we don't need to type. But for the system name for the quit, let's change this to xmark.circle.fill. And I think I need to also add the button style to borderless to these buttons. Okay, we have these buttons now. And to exit the application, to kill the process, we can simply uh, use this exit global method and then pass zero. Okay, this will basically kill this process and quit the app. Now let's try to test. I think that's all for the code. Now let's try. Okay, looks nice. Let me type what is recursion. Enter. Okay, it works right. But response, okay, I forgot to put my IPI key. Okay, so in here, put your IPI key. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to copy and pass from the my open AI key. Okay, so I have pasted my open AI key there. Let me do and run again. Okay, try again. What is recursion? Enter. Okay, that's the answer. There it is. We have finally built this Mac OS Manual app. Very simple, right? We mostly use the same component across the platforms. Very, very small change for this button, I think. Other than that, it just work, it just works the same. Okay, now let's try this clear uh, button. Let me click this trash button. Nice, it lets the message from the list. And let me try to uh, click this. It should click the app. Nice. It, quit the app. it quits the app successfully. Okay, we have successfully implemented the application, this menu bar Mac OS application using CFUI that connects to the chat GPT. So this is a browserless best solution. And yeah, I know this. And yeah, basically this will be better than using a browser. You will have uh, much better energy much longer uh, battery because you don't need to access uh, using a browser which is a uh, rather stronger compared to the native application and yeah like this video if you like and subscribe if you haven't thanks for following this channel so far and just want to say as always let's keep on being a lifelong learner goodbye